Visit us at Eduvo. Thank you for calling Eduvo. Thus far, we only tested our application on an Android emulator. And that is generally fine, of course. Android is one of the major platforms you typically develop for. But of course, you might also want to test your app on an iOS simulator if you are developing on a macOS system, because you can only build iOS apps on macOS systems, unfortunately. Or maybe you don't want to test your application on an emulator only, but also on a real device. And we'll have a look at all these other use cases or these other ways of running our application over the next minutes. So here's the Android emulator and I created it with the help of the AVD manager as I showed earlier in the course. Started through Android Studio, you can open that AVD manager and spin up your emulator there. So that is what we already did. How could we now launch this app on a real Android device though? For that, you first of all need to prepare your Android device. And that means that you need to open your settings on your device and there, choose these developer options. However, you might not have that option in your menu. In this case, go to About Phone and there, tap on that build number seven times. Now, that might look strange, but this actually gives you this developer options menu item here. So, tap on that build number here seven times. I already activated it, so that's why I get this message. And once you did this, you should have the developer options here. Now there, generally make sure that it's turned on. And then there's one specific option you need to enable, and that is USB debugging. Make sure that USB debugging is switched on. Thereafter, connect your device, your Android device, with a USB cable to the machine you're working on, so you're developing this Flutter app on, and now you should be able to boot that Flutter app onto that device. Now here actually, in this Flutter app which I have here, I now can choose my device in the bottom right corner, here in Visual Studio Code. I now have the choice whether I want to use the emulator or my device here. And in Android Studio, you would also have an uh, option of choosing where to boot it. If you're not sure how you can choose that, you can always simply quit the emulator so that you only have the connected device as the only device on which the app could be installed and run, and then the flutter run command or running it with the debug command here should automatically pick the connected device. So here I selected the connected device in the drop down menu. And with that, I can run the app as I always run it. So either with the flutter run command or in Visual Studio Code here with debug, start without debugging or in debugging mode, but I will go without debugging since this is a bit faster. And now the app will be built as it was before and it will then be shipped onto the real device and will be installed and launched there so that you can test it there. Now let's wait for that to finish. So here's the app running on my real device, on my real connected Android device. And of course there I can interact with it just as I could in the emulator, which is good. You should see the same result here. Now when developing an app, testing it on real devices is really crucial and something you absolutely have to do. Because whilst the emulators are really good and really, well, emulate real devices, it's just a simulation. Nothing can replace a real device. So testing on a real device and if possible on different real devices is something you should do as part of every app development process.